alcohol but <laughs> I need an alcohol diet works. <laughs> it does. I swear to God, we had Chinese for like four days straight. <laughs> Jesse doesn't know what you're talking about. We had Chinese like two days after you got here. <laughs> How to try had that Chinese place out. The next day mm -hmm. over at the mall. Yes. And then we had Chinese at that other restaurant. And then we had Chinese again at the mall in Brady. <laughs> no, Ash. Two days in a row. Four days. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Chinese. It was Korean. Whatever! <laughs> <laughs> Chinese and Koreans. I had to try the Korean. They're fine. I had to try it. Never had it before. <laughs> yeah, it's like three or four times, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that's good! <laughs> it's okay because I knew what I was going to eat on a daily basis. <laughs> Just, I'm hungry! What are we going to eat? Oh, uh, I don't know, fucking Chinese food? <laughs> but you know what? It's not hard. Obviously, if things are so loose on me, I can, like, I can literally drink. <laughs> moment <laughs> yeah, I can try and come up with a logical reason why I need that other shit. Yeah, just like you told me. See, Ashley, <laughs> I'm gonna need one for after I get out of the bathtub. <laughs> and I'm also gonna need another one right by my bed. Even though my slippers are right there, I can slip <laughs> on some... No! I'm just gonna step on that rug first because it's so fucking soft. Sometimes you miss putting on your slippers because you're too sleepy. <laughs> That's why I said to climb up with where you know your feet are going to hit in the morning. <laughs> nope. It's <laughs> logical. <laughs> like, it may be logical, but no. No. I don't know what you're going to do with the other two, but I know you at least want two in the bathroom. Even though there's a small space between where the mirror is, and where you're getting dressed, and where you're going to put on your makeup, it's a small space. So, I don't know why you need to in <laughs> When I was in the store, <laughs> my logical reason was I need two in the bathroom. Because the bathtub and the toilet are so close together and you have to step out. Something about dripping wet everywhere on the floor. <laughs> Whatever. And then you can just toss the mats in the, in, the sh in the washing machine and the dryer. Also, I might mess them up because I tend to wash things like the So, I need backup mats. Hmm. Color wise. But really, I need the one in there for that section. Then I need another one in there for my sink, which is where you do all the makeup and the facial products and whatnot. Uh -huh. And then I need one for my bedroom uh -huh. because you have to step out onto the floor. Uh -huh. And I might not have slippers because the pets like to chew on my slippers. And I tend to lose things easily, so those might be gone. Uh -huh. Might be gone. Then I need another one because I plan on making my room 
into different sections by on having kind of like a cooking section in there. And I will need a mat for the cooking section. And that was my logic as to why I can buy four. Alright. Now, can you come with logic to buy that other set? No! <laughs> there is no other logic to buy that other set. You know, while I'm driving, if I end up finding that other size map that I don't have that was part of the set but not in the set, I'm probably going to buy two of them. Because you need a full set, Ashley. No. You need, now that I know the other one exists, <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with a reason to buy that. No. I mean, think about it. For now, it's in my bedroom. But later, I will have an apartment. And I will need it in the apartment. Because the toilet could be a whole other section in the shower. I'll need two then for that part. And in the kitchen, you got to cook. There's the one for that. And another one in the bathroom. I put on the stuff. Logically, if you had just told me to look over here at the rugs and I was looking at the pink towels, I would have just bought the set. Instead of going to the store by myself, later, at another store, and buying the <laughs> in, in reality, <laughs> is it your fault? No! <laughs> You're not pointing at every pink thing when you no. could... You could no. You what? can't look at pink stuff and say, here, I'll save Jessica money and not let her notice this. Because <laughs> Jessica's going to go by herself, get lost, end up in a Marshalls, and then it's going to be in there more expensive. Because no. she's going to buy it. No. <laughs> look at me. I'm wearing a pink coat. There's pink hips. There's a pink shirt. You're even in pink. The car's pink. Look at my house. There's no hope. If you see pink shit, just, just point it out. No. No. Just point it out. Otherwise, you might get grumpy, or you might fall down in random places. No! That's not how my body And I'm too ditzy to notice that you fell down and took a nap on the bench. <laughs> Smoking your cigarettes. <laughs> I'm too ditzy. That's not how this body works. When I get up, I'm groggy for like two fucking... Okay, at the most, two hours. <laughs> at the most. But usually, my grumpiness goes away once I have a cigarette and... Put the cocoa and the marshmallow in it, by the way. But it goes good. If you drink that, you drink it. You drink it. You drink it. You drink cocoa, coffee, and marshmallow. And it's hot damn. Well, fireball. Which is the light version of hot damn. <laughs> That's why I didn't want cocoa in my coffee. If I didn't want to start singing, I would love it with cocoa. The song is noisy. Too late, you've already had it. More than once. <laughs> Outside. I would have to sing that song while drinking some hot cocoa with some tiny fucking marshmallows. You forgot the sake too. <laughs> and the sake. No, because the sake makes me go to sleep. <laughs> it would have to be like fireball. It what was sake and fireball. <laughs> and coffee. What cocoa and marshmallows? No, skip the sake. It makes me tired. And <laughs> creamer. <laughs> I will drink sake when I get sick so that I just drink and sleep. And that was my plan for the sake. <laughs> this is my plan is why I bought that jug. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like I could I take medicine. I to go to get sake whenever I get sick. And luckily, I don't look 13. Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Told me I can't have it. <laughs> no, 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 no. She cannot have it. She looks good. <laughs> Like, no, don't, don't tell her this! Don't, don't tell her! Don't tell her! Don't tell her! She's <laughs> rubbing me! She's too young! 
It's no. not just her. What are you doing? <laughs> it's no, 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 I'm 25. <laughs> I'll be no. 25 at the end of the month. I'm, no. uh, I'm no. old. No, she's what? 25. <laughs> you, you don't look at her 25. No. <laughs> like, yes, yes, she's 25. I'm actually younger. <laughs> yeah. No, I gotta tell mom I'm on this. And she's just like, how old are you? 23. <laughs> yeah, you had to back me up. How old was it? I drove down here real quick. No, don't turn, no. She's too young. Like, no, Look she's at her. good. <laughs> and my dumbass wanted to be really sarcastic about it and just like do that thing. But I chose not to be sarcastic yeah. in that way. Yeah. <laughs> Cause see, I know that what would that. have been she slightly offensive. That would, <laughs> she might, she might not, but that would have been slightly offensive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but now, yeah, <laughs> there's not many people who have actually touched me and started rubbing my arm and my back at the same time and saying that she's too young. <laughs> Unless it's don't me. tell her. Not, no, no, don't sell it to her. Just don't. Why are you telling her? Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her this. She, 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 yeah, she's 13. <laughs> I have been ID'd in the casino with my friend Marlon. <laughs> Both of us got ID'd. I've been ID'd, so was, I've been ID'd in a bar by people who weren't even working at the bar. How many people have I, I've had somebody rub my arm you know before when they ID'd me, and they were not a bartender, they were somebody in the bar. <laughs> Didn't believe me. <laughs> you know? It was like, you know they could go to jail for this. It's, a, here, it's pretty bad when they day. ID you at the country club, and they look at me, and they're just like, hey, bitch, you're back. Come on in. <laughs> like, the bar knows me so well. They're just like, I don't give a shit about your ID. What yeah, the no. fuck do you even, why do you even carry it still? I know you don't like to carry it. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. I've been flashlighted? No. Oh, several times, actually. I've been flashlighted enough to make sure it's real. Because uh, there are, there's signs I do. Stare that, flashlight you in the face, flashlight, flash, go back to you, go back to, go back to you, go back to the ID. Uh, uh, several times. Uh, yeah. Not the people with me, just me. <laughs> I've only. Just me! I've only Mom been is there! What <laughs> did that happen? <laughs> she laughed! She was so. thought it was hilarious! And then when we walked into the bar, the Bowery and stuff down there in um, Myrtle Beach. Yeah. The first time it was just her and I. <laughs> They ID'd her, they ID'd me, or whatever. She thought it was funny. <laughs> she looked at it and looked at me and flashlighted it. <laughs> Even though it's still light enough outside that you can see the ID without having a flashlight. Right? But no, let's just flashlight it. No. Then the other time when Dad was there with us, he went in, Mom went in, they didn't bother IDing Mom. Stop me! <laughs> He said, let me see your ID. Yes, because they stop people like this. He was <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no, yeah. Mom just, yeah, was like, what? Mom just laughing, just cackling. <laughs> That's a little tiny game. No. Just, it starts off small, then you turn a little evil laugh. <laughs> One day you'll love looking young, Jesse, unless you just, <laughs> as mommy rubs me. But no, not, not usually other people. No, quite seriously. I have an ID by the boss. Guys, like, there was whoever. a guy who called his boss to check and make sure my ID was right, so he wouldn't get in trouble for letting me in. He flashlighted at me, flashed on my ID, went back and forth several times, called his boss over, had his boss look at it, he flashlighted at me too, and they decided to let me in. I have also been told not to go by the bar. You me! No. Don't go by the bar. What? <laughs> I mean, no, they let people in, because that's before I was 21. They let people in, other people who were younger. They didn't, I can't go near the box. And they said, we'll kick you out if you do. <laughs> Asked me, was it real? <laughs> told me to take, because I have my camera with me, told me to take the battery out of my camera and give it to him. <laughs> he kept it in his pocket. <laughs> what the fuck? Just today, I'm like, what is going on? She's like, they don't believe you're an old just poor. They're going to make sure you're not going to take pictures and give it to the cops. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm in college. That's how I met you. <laughs> That's why we're down here. <laughs> no. No, we got laid over. I had to pay an adult. No. I can't even. I'd be like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you would. I, I accept it. I, I accept it. I wouldn't. Look at the bird, you know. What if I can even see the bird in the front? Yeah. A pelican. Yeah. 
<laughs> Look at it like it's taking a nap. Those annoying damn birds. You gotta love them when you're not from this area. So you don't see birds anymore. Because you don't live near a beach anymore. At all. Living there just nothing but farmland. No, And seriously. military bases, <laughs> but farmland. The way that you did your, like, whole stop pose, <laughs> it seriously reminded me of Kevin Hart. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> you do not cross. <laughs> like when a sun starts spazzing out. Gonna... No. no, I was with them. We were coming <laughs> I was right behind them. <laughs> you couldn't figure out that was their daughter. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I will say that the guy from the year before, when he was actually doing the whole thing, he didn't bother writing me. Yeah, it was like he asked me, "Weren't you here before?" He looked at my hair. He asked, "Weren't you here?" I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Yes." <laughs> no. I would say because yes, even if it wasn't me. <laughs> no, yeah, right, right. Because apparently there's not like even when you look at that bar, there's not many. It basically looks like Caucasians. <laughs> I mean, the bar, the bar inside it is connected to the other one. It has the actual flag. Mm -hmm. There, <laughs> just a giant flag. <laughs> I said. I said, it's having flat. It's, and that's the one we went to. Because it's the one mom's more comfortable with. The woman, when we were there the first time, it was just mom and I, the actual server. We went inside the bar, and the guy was nice, and he gave us out, uh, stuff or whatever. Went outside, sat there, because they have these benches area. And the woman, who's a server, would not serve us. Mm -hmm. She just looked over, gave us dirty looks, stuff, kept talking to them. And then there's other people who came in. There's a woman, another woman, and some kids or whatever. Right. They sat outside, and they came up, she came up to them for the menu and everything, asked them what do they like, or this, that, or whatever. They got food and everything, and the woman facing us, I had been out of a drink for a long time now. Mm -hmm. Ma, the pictures are, it is, no. Looked over at us, looked at stuff, looked down at her food, looked at us. <laughs> it's, no. They had time, the guy, they, some guy went in the stroller and stuff. I don't know who the husband was. Talk to them. we got to be one of their husbands. Talk to them. Woman asked him, does he want anything? I haven't been sitting there without anything in my cup. Peter's been gone for a while. <laughs> no. So we came in and we told him that she didn't, like, we asked him for some stuff. Uh -huh. Like, another drink or whatever. He asked us about the girl. Or it was like, we couldn't, we wanted to come sit back like what we had to. He asked us, <laughs> didn't get something out there. Like, no, she wanted to come to us. It's like, no, she served those people who actually had time to get up to leave. <laughs> that time we actually, like, no, she's not. She's just ignoring it. And she looked at us several times. Even the people there with her, the bouncers and stuff, they looked at us. The girl from the other section she was talking to from the other bar right next to it looked over at us from the connection bar, but we're not in the section, so you can't do anything. Looked over at us, was like, no. Went in there. <laughs> no. Was, uh, which was stupid. Because mom's a tipper, and I'm a drinker. <laughs> Like I said, we spent a uh, hundred bucks, three nights in a row, like a hundred bucks just in alcohol. Before tip. Mm. And we tip actual percentage. You're supposed to tip about 20% or whatever. Right. If there, he was a good one, we tipped him more. <laughs> that was the biggest mistake ever. We are the tippers. <laughs> well, no. So no. But that's what happened there. We like the bars, Contour, but she can smoke in it, which you can't do. Yeah. And a lot of them, they don't care. The band was nice. We talked to the band. Because you were supposed to pay her, or they gave us free tickets, invite us over, or they would invite us like, you know, or Dan. <laughs> Introduced us when we came there, they were from Oklahoma. Remembered us, the guy who's in the band, the leader, he actually added me on, actually he wanted to take a picture. He asked us to take a picture with us. Uh -huh. And then, they added, he added me on Facebook. Because <laughs> I had a Facebook, mom didn't have Facebook at the time. <laughs> or at least didn't know how to use it. <laughs> but no, he's on my thing. He added us, wanted to take a picture, asked us. With his phone, sent it to me. That's one of the photos on my computer, which is also on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. But no. So the bar had its point. Same thing happened the next year, actually. I'm not even drunk, and I'm walking to the side. <laughs> like, stop it the bar is nice, <laughs> it's more relaxed. The alcohol is actually cheaper there. The guy is a good bartender, he talks a lot, he knows how to make drinks. Right but just some. People, no, the other guy remembered us, the other bartenders from the other bar remembered us and everything. Bought us free drinks. Uh, especially at the other one, you pay uh, two bucks per beer and they're actually like big, the actual cup. Uh -huh. He bought us around. Uh, 
12 years. <laughs> right. That was nice day. So you yeah. the first time you actually realized you have an alcohol problem. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I only went to fucking Disneyland. Oh, yeah. And spent over $600 worth of alcohol. <laughs> In a huge ass tower on the 17th floor, just looking at people and drinking people's fucking drinks that I didn't know. But the $600, well, $600 plus dollars, was all me. <laughs> That's not including the other people that I was with and me taking their drinks from them and drinking them. <laughs> That's not including that. That's what happens when you get too drunk. <laughs> it's a little, just a little too drunk. I'm just like, I don't even care. And then, we started freaking out people. <laughs> Why? Every time, we would like go lower by a level. <laughs> and trust me, those stairs hurt my ass. I literally, I felt like six months. <laughs> but anyway, every time we would scare somebody, we would all like fucking take a shot. And then we'd go down, <laughs> go down one more level from this like huge ass tower. Okay, fireworks are blasting and everything else. And then we're going like to the edge and looking down <laughs> at everybody. And they're, they're, they're getting slightly bigger, but when we first started, they looked like fucking eels. <laughs> or like specks of dust. But anyways, <laughs> we would just go to where they, okay, cause they had these little, like three flights of stairs, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, I made it. <laughs> You're gonna hold your liquor somewhere. It better be there. <laughs> <laughs> and You're gonna get a drink. And we even went on rides after we got the humor out of scaring everybody. But anyway, big ass fireworks just poosh, popping off and shit. So well, that's a vacation. <laughs> and <laughs> surprised you remember that. You are actually really good with alcohol. I should have realized that when you had told me this. <laughs> Six hundred plus dollars to myself, Ashley. You have a fucking problem. Anyway, <laughs> it sounds delicious though. It is. And it you was did get arrested, so it all worked out. I almost got arrested, but <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> fact of the matter is, I didn't. So <laughs> I win. <laughs> but anyway. We would just like lean sort of off the, the fucking shit, but not enough to where we would like fall over or whatever. <laughs> and we would just look at somebody and we'd wait patiently until we realized which one we wanted to target. <laughs> and then we would just go, HELLO! <laughs> and that's the reaction we got. <laughs> All of them turned around like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, it looks like you're wearing pajama pants, but which is what you almost wore. <laughs> but yeah. you put on real clothes. Yeah, I had to put on real clothes. That yeah, was, that was too thin. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is cool. <laughs> only no, you, you outdrink me for sure. Only you, I would do it. You definitely outdrink me. I, I would do it in a screamo voice, <laughs> but I didn't feel like doing a screamo voice because then they probably would have really freaked out. But yeah, no, let's, <laughs> let's not scare little kids <laughs> at Disneyland. <laughs> I you know how many complaints there probably are? Oh yeah, we had the security sure. guards looking for us all yeah, throughout the place. I mean like, place. literally, like, people review places. I wonder if you're on Yelp. <laughs> probably. Just, just look up that day on Yelp if you can. <laughs> Let's type in a date. <laughs> Is my friend Ashley there? Yeah, that's her. <laughs> no. crazy I, swear, I kid you not. Y'all have y Hello! <laughs> and my kids. Okay. <laughs> what about your ride, kids? It was at you! Every <laughs> ride we got on. It was always a dark ass tunnel before the ride. And we would do the same fucking thing. I swear to you, I at least scared like 25 kids that night. <laughs> and I didn't feel bad about it either. I was laughed. <laughs> Those poor parents. They wasted all that money on that adventure. But probably now we'll have great stories when their kids are older. <laughs> about the time they took them to do the thing. <laughs> It was and awesome. they cried like it was Halloween. <laughs> but um, the security guards were looking for us for about five and a half hours. And then they finally gave up. <laughs> because by the time they gave up, we 
we were already on our way to the hotel. No. <laughs> it worked out perfectly. I loved it. Oh, no. But I plan on going again. <laughs> Probably within the next few months. Because <laughs> I just wanted to be two close together. <laughs> Yeah, so I can recognize you. That motherfucker. Maybe there's a photo of you <laughs> <laughs> leaving them like that group right there. Don't let any of them look <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do it like after cool. a few months. I might dye my hair <laughs> to make fun. it like not look like I me. I wanna go to Disneyland just to see uh, my friends' photos on there. It's a band. I just wanna see if you're banned. <laughs> I know that one. Number five. I can tell. <laughs> When I got back to the hotel room, I could tell that I was maybe just a little too fucked up when I decided that from the first fucking story, <laughs> I was going to jump off the rail into the pool, and the pool was already closed. Okay? It literally took half an hour <laughs> for everybody to convince me not to do it. It looks like fun. No, no. 20 minutes in. It still looks like fun. We should do it together. No, Ashley. I tried to push Jake. You're going to break your leg. Don't have enough money for that. <laughs> I tried to push JP off the ledge. <laughs> I was like, it's fun. I'll go right after you. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was supposed to sit on these. <laughs> His boyfriend caught him. Everything was fine. But he called me everything you wanted to say. I went to. I love you, I went to. They're trying to kill me. I'm going to call you everything I got. <laughs> okay, you're right. This weird thing has been smoothed down, so it's somewhat more comfortable than I had expected. I'm just. No, I thank you and think things are more comfortable because you're not used to as many soft things as I am. <laughs> so much. <sighs> well, it was terrible. I want to do it again, though. I kind of want to do it, but I don't want to do it to your level. <laughs> I don't. Because I would get kicked out. There's no way. You know, I never actually... They find me. I'm too easy to see. I either have a bunch of flowers in my hair, or my hair would be <laughs> out and all puffy. I'd wear nothing but pink. And stuff for my shoes, apparently. See, I wouldn't yeah. mind doing it They spot me. They spot me so quick. But I don't think I want to go to Disney World. Go to Disney World. Get on the sea boat. Get on with you. Try and swim with them. <laughs> I think I would rather... I am a stingray. I'm a I think I would rather do it at Bush Gardens next <laughs> because if I just decide to get a little too drunk, there's a water park right across the street. Stop being <laughs> I wouldn't be in the pool. I'm pretty sure people pee in the wave pool, probably little kids. But please don't do that. Oh, no, no, no. They have a lazy, a lazy river or whatever. I would want to do that when I'm really drunk. Just like, hey, it's summertime. I don't have any bikinis, but you know what? There's the Bush Gardens, and they sell bikinis. <laughs> Actually, yes. All the water parks sell bikinis for a lot of money. A lot of money. Over at Bush Gardens, you can quite literally get, like, a cheetah print Bush Gardens label bikini with, like, the fucking Chikra eagle on your ass. <laughs> For like 15 bucks. <laughs> That's cheaper than Walmart here. Actually, sadly, yes. I do not think I would probably get... <laughs> I have to be drunk to think that's a good idea. <laughs> exactly, that's why I said. If but I have really, to get too drunk, really, really drunk, there's a bikini there. <laughs> and I know that I would wear that bikini just to go to the other park and sneak in to go into the lazy room. <laughs> they have like a huge really sign for what? Really? Yeah. An advertiser at the beach. It's not even the beach, it's a river walk. It's got sand. It counts. <laughs> Starbucks. There's a water over there, there's water over and there. There's the people that live in the Marriott. What? What do you mean live in the Marriott? You mean rent. Can you live in the Marriott? Yes, yes, you can live in the Marriott. 
don't have that kind of money. Actually, I don't know what it costs, but I'm pretty sure I'll never have that kind of money. It's like 400 bucks a night. No. Or no. 1500 What? For like a month or something like that. I don't know. I think it's like bi-weekly or some shit. I don't know. Uh, I looked into it once. And I never did it again. Because I was like, I'm too broke for this shit. <laughs> no. No. I looked at it over what it's going to cost me gas-wise. from get, Including what it's going to cost me to get home. That's over what it cost me getting here. Right. With the detour I took. And getting home. I I'm not doing that. I look at it like this. If Ashley cannot afford a $500 piece of shit car, there's no way in hell that her expenses are going to let her live in a Marriott. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I would have to work like six jobs just to keep up with it because I like to spend. <laughs> That's you know. my problem. I see something and I'm just like, I want it. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Especially if it's like lingerie, or like bikinis, or tattoos, or piercings. Mm. <laughs> I'm no. just like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> no. I used to be like, oh, there's a giant rib that's upwards for some reason. But then, <laughs> apparently it never goes down. No, it never no, goes down. It's fine. It's broke. I still say it's a waste of money. A complete waste of money, but see. But it is life. Manatee County doesn't care. <laughs> Make everything look nice. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't see when you first told me what they did with it is without actually fixing it. Why you put more money on something you're not actually going to fix? It's not usable. Because. Why is this decorative now? <laughs> Why? Like, the only thing that they do is during Christmas, they'll put, like, a little mini train on it and make people pay, like, five dollars to ride it. <laughs> I'm just like, no. Disaster. <laughs> See, that's more my style hotel. I could stay in that hotel, probably. Could you imagine somebody, like, about to die, sliding off of those stairs, trying to, like, crawl down to get to the emergency phone? <laughs> oh, somebody's chasing you? Yeah. No, what I imagine doing is freaking out, and then you can actually jump on the outside. Yeah. That's, like, in the movies, they always have the person actually trying to run down the stairs, or run up the stairs... But run down the stairs. I'm not good at running up the stairs. Not good at running down. I'm very clumsy. So I don't really see why you wouldn't just like, hey, eh, let's take the risk of falling, having stabbed to death, and just jump down the side bars <laughs> or the center bars. <laughs> yeah, but however, why? Why no? Okay. I mean, if you're gonna stab me, I'd rather risk falling and dying that way than being stabbed to death. Cause that's gonna take a while. It's gonna be painful. Over and over again. Yeah, that's like four stories though. And yeah, then usually that's a leg right breaker there. That's usually a leg breaker. Why do I have my cell phone on? Oh, I don't have my cell phone on. Yeah, no, I probably wouldn't. It would be me to not have my cell phone when you could just not have my cell phone. Yeah, pretty much. It would be me. Anyways, though, point of this whole thing. No, oh, there's one of your weird speaker thingy. If you were to jump off that ledge, no doubt you would break either one or both of your legs. Um, probably fracture some more shit. But you would still die. Why? Because <laughs> there's a fence right there. And just so every often, they decide to put a spike right there. So, just if it hits your head, it might scratch up. But if you're in the right position, <laughs> it'll just go right through. Like margarine. <laughs>
At least I know you'll never die. <laughs> I hope you'll make it. They're in grabbing distance. <laughs> I know enough ways to hurt you with my weapons than I do practically anything else. <laughs> Uh, you know, we really didn't walk the other way. What other way? There's another way. Oh, you mean all the way down to the ice cream? Yeah. Hmm. Let's go to the restroom first. Okay. And then go all the way down. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot where I parked. Mm, it's right over there. Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Park by the bike rack. Yeah, no. <laughs> where all I the other people hang out. Yeah, see, that whole forgetting where I park is basically why I take pictures when I go anywhere and get out of my car. That's what the whole mall thing came about. Or the whole I parked in front of this part of Walmart. <laughs> I forget. Too easy. I parked in front of the Walmart sign, actually. Remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, because there's only, like, fucking one. What is it locked? Interesting. They locked back something? Wait a minute. Is this one open? Why is the other one locked? It just one's open. I'm going to turn you off now.